Solve for x. Hmm, what shall we do? Firstly, have a look at the numerator and the denominator. They both have four divisors. And if we have a look at the divisors, you can see 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. And now, in our first step, you have to find out that 3 plus 6 equals 4 plus 5. Negative 3 plus negative 6 equals negative 4 plus negative 5. So then, we can multiply x plus 3 by x plus 6 firstly, and then these two. x plus 3 times x plus 6 is going to be x squared plus 9x, then plus 18. x plus 4 times x plus 5 is x squared plus 9x plus 20. Over. x minus 3 times x minus 6. x squared minus 9x plus 18. x minus 4 times x minus 5. x squared minus 9x, then plus 20. So you can see the advantage is that we can substitute these two guys. If you substitute x squared plus 9x plus 18, let it be equal to u, then x squared plus 9x plus 20 will be u plus 2. If we let x squared minus 9x plus 18 be v, then x squared minus 9x plus 20 will be v plus 2. So we're going to get this equation u times u plus 2 over v times v plus 2 equals 1. u squared plus 2u over v squared plus 2v equals 1. u squared plus 2u equals v squared plus 2v if you multiply the denominator on both sides. So we get u squared minus v squared plus 2u minus 2v equals 0. Here we can actually factorize. It is u minus v times u plus v. And here as well, 2 times u minus v. Now if we take out u minus v, it is u minus v times u, mi u plus v plus 2. That means we have two cases, u minus v equals 0, or u plus v plus 2 equals 0. In our first case, u minus v is going to be 18x, and 18x equals 0, so x is 0. In our second case, u plus v plus 2 is 2x squared plus 38. So, x squared will be negative 19. In this case, we don't acquire any real roots, but two imaginary roots. So the three roots are going to be x1 equals 0, x2 equals square root of 19 times i, x3 is negative square root of 19 times i. Did you get them? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!